Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior, and today you guys are watching about a 2, 2.5 two to 3 minute KM strike with the Honey Badger with the brand new 1987 camo. Now, this is one of the new micro DLC transaction thingies that um, Infinity Ward put out there, and it's a new camo for your gun, and it is being referred to as like Spectrum Camo 2.0 or... Uh, the new Spectrum Camo, or basically anything that's to do with Spectrum Camo, because it does look a lot like Spectrum Camo, you know, except it's not really a zebra print, it's kind of more like random shapes and, and everything kind of like that, so it definitely is a sweet camo, and if um, you really have to only, or if you can only buy one camo in the new microtransactions, this is definitely the one that I would recommend. This or the Blunt Force one's pretty cool as if you're if you're into that kind of stuff, but um, this one does look really great on your gun. Really, any gun it looks great on. Looks great on the Honey Badger. Looks absolutely exceptional on the K7, just because the K7 looks so amazing. Um, you know, with with camos, I don't know why they picked the K7 to look good with camos, but it does look great on the K K7. And um, all these new micro transactions that Infinity Ward is putting into the game says or can say two possible things about what they're doing for Call of Duty. Now, when I first heard of the new DLC transaction things, I thought, wow, this is great. You know, Infinity Ward is looking out for their game. Um, you know, they, they didn't forget about it. They still, you know, acknowledge it exists and they're putting things out to make it better. But what some people take it as is, oh, they're just doing this for more money. I've given them enough of my money. You know, I'm not going to give them any more. And I think that's kind of not up for me to tell you which one it actually is, but it's more up to the individual person to kind of determine which one it is because it can really be either thing, you know. Um, I can understand where they think it's just for more money because there are a lot of patches and a lot of updates that this game should have had before. Like, for example, uh, whenever I go online and I click on Xbox Live and it does that like fetching online profile I swear nine times out of ten it takes like three minutes to fetch my online profile and I think that that's that is something that should have been working and fetching your online profile almost instantly should have been like that uh, from release date and um, it is still yet to see any attention from Infinity Ward so um, I don't know if that's just something they can't fix or whatever but um, I think it's great that Infinity Ward is still acknowledging their game exists and um, putting things out to improve it and make it more enjoyable for everyone to play as a whole. Because let's be honest, when you're just running around with the same few camels on your gun, it does get old. And um, it's nice to see just a little change of appearance aesthetically. So uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below what your favorite camel was of the brand new ones that come out. Because this is personally my favorite, the 1987 camel. If you are curious, they retail for $1.99. You can just buy them off the store on Call of Duty Ghost, but I do hope you guys enjoy this. Please click the like button if you guys enjoy the video. Drop a comment down below letting me t telling me what's your favorite camo the new DLC is, or if you like the old ones, which is completely understandable. But other than that, have a fantastic day, everybody. I am out.